In this video, you'll learn how to install any of the Photoshop extension panels available from Greg Benz on a PC. If you're using a Mac, make sure you watch the Mac version of this video. There are a few minor differences between the two processes just to get installed. So this will work for any of my panels. I'll show you how to install Lumenzia in this video, but whether you're installing my free luminosity masking panel or some other panel I create at some point, it's going to be essentially the same process, the same steps. There may be some minor little tweaks in the dialog, but it's the same steps. So the first thing you need to download the zip file and then everything you need is going to be in the zip file. To unzip it, you need to use the tools built into Windows. This is a critical step. Right click, choose extract all. You have to do it this way. If you don't, you run a pretty good risk that things are not going to work for you. If you don't do it this way or use a third party tool like WinZip, then you're likely to run into um, something that says a digital signature error or something like that. It just means that the files are not properly extracted. These files are a little unique because they have a digital encryption on them required by Adobe and the tools built into Windows respect that signature, but some third party tools do not. So here are the extracted files. You have an assets subfolder Inside of the assets folder is all of the software. The rest of this is essentially uh, documentation uh, to get you started and using the product. Um, critically, there is this how to install document that has detailed steps behind everything we're doing in this video, as well as troubleshooting and other information. And then there's this install something.jsx bin file. The extension may not be visible depending on how you have Windows configured, but it should have an icon, something like this, but there's this install file that's a JSX bin file type. This is what we need to run. Running this little script is going to grab everything we need from the assets folder and put it where it needs to be on the computer. To do it, we don't double click it here. If you do that, you'll get an error or you'll launch the wrong program. What you need to do is run it through Photoshop. So to do that, open Photoshop, but you need to run it as an administrator. So right click on Photoshop, you need to choose run as administrator or run elevated, something like that. If you don't choose that option, then you will not be running Photoshop with the permissions required to copy files. And then the installation script will fail. So it needs permission. And the way you give it is by running as administrator. So once you've opened up Photoshop, all you need to do is go to file scripts browse and now we just need to point to the file in this case it's already pointing to the file but you just go to like download or wherever you are find this file if you don't see the file listed here older versions of photoshop did not automatically filter to jsx bin file types make sure you grab this little drop down and choose the filter that points to jsx bin files then once you see it just highlight it choose load and you're almost there now so we've got the options. We're just going to choose to install everything, accept the license terms, click install. And now the process automatically runs in the background. It's just telling you that it's installed and that's it. You're done. Now, if you try and open up the software right away, if you go to windows extensions, you won't see it. That's because you need to restart Photoshop whenever you install a new plugin or extension panel. So, just run Photoshop again. We don't need to run it in a special mode. That was only for installation. So once we run this now, we'll be able to go up to the window extensions. You may need to just wait a second to let Photoshop finish loading, window extensions. And now you just click on whatever panel you want to load, grab it, put it wherever you want it. And if you click on any of the buttons and you get a response, then you know it's properly installed. That's really all there is to it. So this is a properly installed panel and we are good to go. Um, CS6 users of my Lumenzia panel specifically are going to want to look at how to install the uh, optional Adobe multi plugin, which is required for these vibrance and saturation buttons. But in general, click a button. If you see a response, you are done. Now, if for any reason you get to this point and you've run into problems, there is another way you can get installed using a manual installation. Um, in some cases, there are permissions that are not available running scripts in Photoshop, so we have to manually install. And let me show you how to do that now. So I'm going to close Photoshop. And what we need to do is grab the appropriate folder or folders from the assets subfolder here and put them in the right location on the computer. And the right location is listed in this how to install guide. If you open up this guide, it will 
list the destination folder you need, um, but there's an even easier way to get there and you can actually use the installer to show that. So let's actually do that. So I'm gonna reload Photoshop again, just as if we'd started this process. We'll go up to File Scripts Browse. We'll go up to File Scripts Browse. We'll run the installer. And this time, instead of clicking Install, choose Show Panels Folder. And what this is doing is it's popping up a window where the extension panels live. And this is where we would need to copy the folders to run the software. So I'm gonna close Photoshop. And we've already got a few different panels installed. I'm just gonna remove Lomenzi and Basics to show how this would work. What we need to do is grab the right folders from the assets and move them over. So under assets, you'll see each panel has a folder. So Lomenzi has a folder. And then there are three different versions of the panel. There's the flash version. This is where you need to go if you're on CS6. You'd open this up, you'd grab this and move this over. That would be the CS6 panel. There's HTML. This is the panel for Photoshop CC users. So all we need to do is grab this and move that over here. And then that's it, it's installed. Um, there's also the ZXP folder. If you're using a third-party ZXP program, you can use this, that's another option. But generally speaking, just grab the CS6 or the CC version, and it should be the version inside this folder. So it's gonna say something like com.whatever.ext, or the other version just kind of says the panel name, but it's gonna be inside the Flash or inside the HTML folder, depending on which version of Photoshop you have. Um, now we had two panels to install, so if we go back to the Elementia Basics. We'll go to the HTML folder for CS, or for, sorry, for CC. Drag and drop this over. And we've now installed both panels. Just run Photoshop normally now and everything should be available. If for any reason you are still stuck after watching this video, I would recommend take a look at the how to install guide. It has a troubleshooting list that can get you through any problems. Um, and you can also use these log files that are created on your desktop and email those to me if you need additional assistance. But for most folks, the uh, basic running of the JSX bin should get things done. And if not, the manual method uh, should work for, for nearly everybody else.